Hello. So let me teach you how to install PyQt. So how do we do? We simple. It will take less than three minutes, hopefully. So we go to PyQt5 website. We're downloading the fifth and the later, latest version. What do we do? Command prompt. Command prompt. We check if we have Python. Oh, you need to check if you have Python. And if your Python path is connected, uh, which I know it is. So all I need to do is since, I don't remember if I copy the code, you just copy the code and install it. Which I already did. And now, so what do we need to do? Um, if you're going to use PyQt5, you need to, uh, or you will install the, the designer, which is the software, the PyQt designer software. Uh, to install that, what do we do? So we write py, uh, no, pip. Is it install PyQt5 dash? Oh, my. Dash tools. Now, this will install all the tools that is necessary. Oh, to our computer. So once again, uh, what you need to do at the beginning is check if you have Python and when, it, hopefully when you download the Python, you automatically connected it with the path. And with that said, afterwards you go through the pip install pyqt5. Once you have it installed, then you install the tools. The uh, same thing, pip install pyqt5 dash tools. And that will install the, uh, the tools, all the tools. So let's, uh, See if we're able to open up the designer application through the command prompt. Oh, maybe with the. Hmm. No, I don't think we can. So, what do we do? We go to design. No. No, we can't. So what do we do? We go to the file, within the file, we go to uh, the C, the user, uh, and then we go to well. Okay, so we go to So I think uh, this is hidden and app data. Once we get into app data, we get into local, then mm, programs, Python. Then we get into libs, no lib. And then we get into we get into uh, site packages. So once we're in there, we get into a Qt5 application. Once you're in, then Qt, and then bin. And as you could see, we have three applications that 
be able to use the assistant, designer, and linguistic. Uh, the designer as is what I think I'll be using most of the times. And if you want, you're able to uh, pin it to the taskbar or drag it and then place it on your uh, desktop. So it'll be easier for you to use. Oh, and that is all for me. Hope it was less than three minutes or even less.